Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this slow-mo fade transition right here. I already did like two or three video on these like fade transition and it is one of the most trending effect right now. So why not? Let's do it again. This is like a new type that I figured out like yesterday when I was messing around with After Effects. So I'm gonna show you how to do this as well. So in my timeline, you can see I have these two clips right here. It is of course shooted by my bro Spooky. But in my first clip, you can see we already got the slow-mo going on in the end. So just make a slow-mo at the end. If you don't know how to make slow-mos, I'll leave a tutorial in the iCard where I'll teach you how to do that so you can watch that to make like slow motion and shit but, but I guess most of y'all know how to do that because it is like pretty simple so I'm just gonna skip that part right now but let's just go over to where it turns into slow mo so around like here and split the layer by hitting ctrl shift d like i did so it creates a cut right here and in this cut right here you can add your favorite shake your favorite wiggle whatever you like so i'm gonna add a wiggle for sure so i'm gonna create an adjustment layer trim it at the beginning by using the bracket key and i'm gonna use my essential effects to add the wiggle right here so go into Use a preset and in essential FX V1, I'm gonna use a sim best wiggle right here. And as you can see with that one click, you can see we have this crazy wiggle right here. That's what I love about like essential effect. Like it comes with 40 plus presets and everything is goated in there. So if you want to download, I'll link it in the description. It is basically like a preset pack that you can drag and drop and add some crazy effect into your music video. So really great if you are beginner or uh, advanced editor as well. But if you don't want to make the purchase right now, I'll leave a link in the ID card or in the description as well on how to create wiggles. But for now, after you create wiggle, you can see we have something like this. Now we finally gonna start the fade transition after the slow mo. So for that, just duplicate your like slow mo layer, which is this one, and make sure you're in last frame right click go to waste this time and just freeze frame it so it turns into this freeze frame right here as you can see it is basically like a still frame then you can drag it out so it like overlaps with your second clip so as you can see it overlaps with my second clips so now if i play it through you can see it is like a slow-mo at the end and it goes into this like still frame which is like an image right there so now you can start making it fade out so for that just select your like the or you can say like the freeze frame right here and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity right here and hit the stopwatch in it go over to the end and just lower down the opacity to zero and put this keyframe at the end right here so it basically creates this like fade out transition at the end pretty basic nothing too crazy right now but i like to add effect like black and white in here also with it i like to add like a curves and make like a s curve in here to give some depth and as it goes you can add something like a camera blur right here and lower down the amount of camera blur at the end the blur radius and go over to the end so around like here and bring up the camera blur to around like 20 maybe so it like blurs out as it goes now in your background clip to match it with it you can add like a hue and saturation hit the stopwatch in there and now in here just do the opposite so go into the first frame and lower down the opacity to zero so it like blends up uh you can even add like a camera lens blur in here lower it down at the first go over to the uh, lower it down at the at the way you want to end it so around like here way down and go over to the first stream and bring it up to around like 20 again we are doing this because it re looks real smooth with those blurs so you have played through you can see you can already see it looks real smooth we are pretty much done but the final touch you can add is some one framers in here so now we're going to create an adjustment layer and trim it to one frame where like my clip transition through the black and white and firstly we're gonna add a minimax in here and set it to vertical and bring up the radius and add a flat exposure with it to create like this flash and you can even add like a curves and make a s curve to cross out the highlight sensor a little flash right here and after that flash you can copy that one flamer remove remove all of these effects from it and add like something like a thing like invert in here and set it to luminance in the color then now if you play it through you can see it looks a little smoother uh not too crazy maybe i'm gonna lower down the like the minimax and the uh, exposure as well because i think it's a little too much for me what you can do is add like a warp and set it to fissile 
and lower down the amount so it goes into minus just some little tricks to make the transition a little or if you even like you can go to where it says camera lens blur right here and some add like something like a mini max instead of that and in direction just set it to vertical and go as where it says radius and do the same thing as we did with the camera lens blur in here so it goes in there like something like that looks a little smooth i guess minimax looks a little more smoother than that not gonna lie but it's completely your choice like you can turn on the camera lens blur with this as well and put it before this so it looks a little more smooth but i guess that looks super super cool right there and yeah with that as you can see we already have this real low fade transition going on i know this was pretty simple and basic but in this channel we do a lot of like these vfx fx from like advanced to basic to like simple cool all those type of stuff so you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and of course like the video if you enjoyed and i'ma see you on the next one peace